All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak with Dash, and double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, 144,000. Shalom, Barakatum. And the title of this lesson is called uh, Fun is Dead. Okay, Fun is Dead. All right, <laughs> and the inspiration of this lesson really here is this article that you see right there maybe backwards um <laughs> but as soon as i saw that i was like yeah that's a lesson right there because uh you know just as much as you can see how dead this place is during the winter time like if i turn this camera around and show you <laughs> see how dead the grass looks you know that's basically what what's happening here in America, okay, is this is the final winter, okay? America's had its ups and downs, you know? Um, they've had their spring where all the flowers are growing and I'll get precepts on all of this. Um, but now it's the winter time, man. People are feeling it financially. People are feeling it on all, on all sides, man, you know? And... <laughs> They, they, these people think that they're gonna, they're gonna be able to uh, uh, borrow their way out of this thing, you know, borrowing credit cards, you know, taking out loans, you know, dumbing down their pain with alcohol and, and, and weed smoking. But it's not, it's not gonna be enough when the poly crisis shows up, aka those plagues. Um, Y'all are gonna realize that this is the Lord Yahweh Bashimi Shai that has been dead set against this place and everything that it represents, man. Okay, this place really is an altar for for a sacrifice. Okay, and if you're not a priest, okay, getting that close to the altar, you're gonna get burnt up. Okay, unless you're joined on to a man. All right. Part of this article it says sometime in recent history, possibly around 2004, Americans forgot to have fun, um, true fun, as they they misplaced it. It looked uh, they misplaced it like a sock instead. Fun evolved into work, sometimes more than true work, which is where we find ourselves now because basically there's no family. There's, people don't really throw feasts. People don't really do family reunions anymore. They just say what's up on Facebook every now and then. All right. So what's happened is these these corporations, which I happen to work for one, um, what they do is they'll throw, they'll throw parties, they'll throw mixers, holiday parties, things of that nature to, to try to replace that, that feeling of family. Because families should really be large, man. Not this nuclear family bullshit where you live in a three-bedroom house. You got a you got a, a father and a mother in there. You know, the father's gone most of the time. And, you know, and y'all don't talk to any cousins or, or any other relatives, extended family outside of that. Y'all don't work together. Y'all just do your own thing, basically. And Esau's taxing the hell out of you, all right? As opposed to how it used to be when families were large, man. You had patriarchs. Okay. Yeah, you have fathers and mothers over their own households, but things were more uh, integrated. Okay, we work together, and that's why the scriptures even command you to do that, man, to, to help your brothers. You know, but that doesn't—that's—that's that's not the case here. Everybody here is competing against each other. It could be your own blood brother in your own family. This niggas looking at you like I'm coming up over you, you know. And there's nothing wrong with competition, but that—that that spirit is all throughout. Uh, uh, Babylon the Great, which is America, okay, and y'all wondering why the fun ain't hitting like it used to, okay? He says, fun is often emphatic, exhausting, scheduled, pigeonholed, hyped, forced, and performative, <laughs> all right? Yeah, it just don't, it don't feel the same, man. It, it, it's like you deal with a woman in the bed and, and she's acting like it's a chore to lay down with you, man. You know, it ain't it's like, ugh, man, get, get, just go, you know? Like if you ain't into it, just just bounce. You know that's how the fun is here. You know, it's it just something you know hollow and 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 dead about it, man. You know, fun is dead, man. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to this precept here in Wisdom of Solomon chapter two. All right, um, just highlighting how things used to be here in America. And why this behavior is now leading to what we're seeing right now, which is a dead, empty, hollow state. All right. So it was Matalaman 2, verse 1, for the ungodly said, reasoning them with themselves, but not aright. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death 
of a man there is no remedy all right neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave so they have no concept of legacy they think that esau will tell you that when you die you just you just darkness is black you don't come back you just he'll also tell you about space that space is just an infinite void of nothingness and it's, it's, it's brick coal out there you know and, and just nihilism look up the word nihilism okay that's what that's what this society is based on man you know they say when we, when we die this is this is it so we got to live it up now basically verse 2 for we are born at all adventure all right and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been all right for the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart man all right so let me, I'm gonna just keep going which which being extinguished our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air so they say live it up carpe diem all right all right which basically means uh live today live in the day live in the moment okay which is which is uh another form of hedonism look that word up hedonism okay which is which these are all ancient philosophies uh of the greeks you know not all greeks subscribed to them some of them were stoics and what you might call it you know um but but that this there's nothing new under the sun all right it says verse four and our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud as shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof all right for our time is a very sh shadow that passed away and our and after our end there is no returning which is false you do come back man that's why you that's why you're about to get fucked up because this is not your first lives living it up a lot of these edomites that are alive today were alive in the 1800s and you all know what y'all were doing to us back then man okay so so you, you're gonna wonder why you, you this is all happening to you but if you heed to the scriptures you would know all right and it says, uh, for it is fast sealed so that no man cometh again. For come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. All right. And, th and this, this demonic philosophy leads to all kind of wickedness, man. You know, like Moab. Well, why can't we eat a snake? You might as well, you know, it don't, it don't kill you right away. You know, well, well what's wrong with a woman and a woman? doing doing their thing all right don't you're not hurting nobody love is love you see because they're all about pleasing the flesh they want the variety of of, of taking everything in because they 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 in their spirit they they think that there's not there's nothing after this all right it says let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and people people will go into debt buying shit they can't afford man because deep in their mind, this is the philosophy of Babylon the Great. When you read Isaiah 47, all right, you read about the uh, the virgin daughter and the philosophies that they're under. That's this, man. That's the same thing. Okay? It says, and let no flower of the spring pass us by. You see? So they got to be into everything. They, that They have no regard for the law because they see the law as a restriction. All right? They say, well, why am I going to restrict myself? All right, if I'm gonna die in, you know, 50, 60, 70 years, you know? But they don't understand the laws are the ways of life. The Lord said he gave the children of Israel, us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, predominantly over here in the West, all right? He He gave us the law so, so that ye may live. He commanded us to do that so that we may live. It's a commandment to live, okay? It's a commandment to, to be fruitful and multiply, all right? But 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 you listen to these people, it's the complete polar opposite. Anyway, um, let let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Okay, now if you know anything about flowers, man, they last two to three weeks. Some flowers, maybe a month, at the most, man. <laughs> All right, and then they're they're withered, they're wilted. Okay. It says, let none of us go go without his part of voluptuousness. All right, let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place for this is our portion and our lot is this okay so they and 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 it's hard to see but this this all underpins very wicked doctrines things like manifest destiny you know where esau came across the entire west saying we 
we own this, man. If we can, if we have the ability to take it, then it's ours, man. You know? You see? It says, for this, this is our portion, and our lot is this. Okay? It says, let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. So there, there is no, there is no satiating this thing, man. All right. Now, this is the effeminate side of what Esau did with his whole white supremacy thing. All right. But it, 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 there's both sides of it, man. The other, the other uh, uh, side of it is Habakkuk two. It says they need to keep it at home. Okay. Behold, his, his, his uh, soul is not upright in him. Okay, read read Habakkuk two, all right. Starting around verse five, you'll see what I'm you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, all right. But the these spirits are just not they're not just benign, man. That's why you can't just listen to a woman when she talking. Well, well, it ain't nothing wrong with it. it. Ain't hurt nobody. Love is love. And then they raise a whole generation of men to grow up like that, man. And they wonder why the the spirit of this place is left, all right? Because you basically killed everything at the expense of you having fun right now. Now I'm not gonna save up. Uh, 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 you know, two thousand dollars for this thing that I want. I'm gonna just get on a credit card and I'll pay it back later, and then I'll, maybe I won't pay it back. You know, that all all of it, all of it's connected and it's related, man. That's that's why you cannot deviate left nor right from the scriptures, man, because you're gonna walk a step into some kind of philosophy that seems okay or not so bad on the surface level, but then you see what kind of many demons are connected to it in a chain, and before you know it, they've yanked your ass all the way over here, man. You know. But moving on, going back to this article real quick, trying to make this too long. Um, it says, uh, let me see. On this article here. Let's see, it says weddings have morphed into multi-stage stress extravaganzas while doubling as express paths to insolvency. Yes, because they're dropping a hundred thousand dollars on weddings, man. You know, <laughs> you know, they just for what? They just want the status, they just want to throw a big party to say that they did it. And these women don't even believe in the vows, man. There's no integrity behind a woman when there's no order in society, man. She's not gonna keep her vows if she can still get married to you, have kids, and then you have to pay for them, and then she can just go off and get another man. She's not gonna stay. As long as that's, as long as that's the case, as long as Esau has laws in the books like that, that's what's gonna happen, man, because there's no righteous judgment in this place, okay? And there's no men to, to, to enforce it, all right? No righteous men, at least, all right? So that's what weddings have become, man. A wedding's supposed to be a, man, that's, you, you find out somebody getting married, man, You put, that's supposed to be a balling wedding, man. Y'all supposed to be, you like we lit, you know, and you didn't have to worry about courting the bitch if she's got uh, uh, herpes or how many bodies she's had or none of that dumb shit we got to worry about here, man. It was literally just a, a beautiful celebration, a joining of families, man. Two families coming together, but that that is all gone. And it wasn't that expensive. Why? Because both families were basically just come together. They they all had it. You got the you got the food. You got this. You got that. You know, and that's why it's important to have big families. You see, because because how much is a hundred thousand dollars across uh, a family of uh, 20, 30 people versus a family of, uh, of a thousand people? All right. It's not that much, you know, everybody can pitch in, you know. And, and y'all have a great time that day, man. But but now this shit is this shit is how there's no substance to this place, man. Don't 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 uh, don't read the news media and think that this shit is. It's popping. It's not. He's coping, man. All right. He's like the Big Mac on the on the. Uh, <laughs> I always say he's like the Big Mac or the or the, or the Whopper on the on the uh, advertisement, you know. But but when you get an actual Whopper or a Big Mac, it does not look like that at all. He, that's what this is. When you see things curated on Instagram, these women do not look like that. All right, they don't. Everything is is fake. All right. It says destination pro proposals for the whole family destination bachelorette um anyway that's all i wanted to get on that, that article but let me go here because this is where we are now all right and i'll end it with this one this is uh, ecclesiastes 12 it says remember now the creator thy creator in the days of thy youth 
all right? And and the opposite of what these people were on in, in Wisdom of Solomon 2, I just read, all right? They didn't remember their creator, all right? They they have no regard for the Most High. The scriptures say the Most High is not in all his thoughts, all right? And that culture has seeped down to everybody. Every every heathen that's came here, including uh, the Israelites that, that live here, all right? It's all seeped down into them, man. And that's why ultimately the Lord is going to have to burn this place up, man. All right? And it says, nor the years draw not... Salakia, let me read that again. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1. Uh, Remember now the, thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Because it was good, and when they were coming up in the... Uh, really, the peak was like the 1950s, you know? When they, when they, you know, in the early, the early 20th century, they was coming up, man. All right? Things were good, but they didn't regard the Most High, man. You know? It says, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say... I have no pleasure in them, okay? Which is coming up now because now the debt is $34 trillion, man, okay? And the, the days that are coming up right now are gonna be horrific, all right? But y'all didn't, y'all didn't uh, regard this. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't consider the latter end, okay? Like the scriptures say, it says, while the sun or the light uh, or the moon or the stars be not darkened, no, the clouds return after the rain, meaning dark times. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. That means the elites are going to be trembling, man. They're going to be running the bunkers because things are going to be so bad. Well, how, man? How? You have more technology than ever, all right? You have more people on the earth than ever. Y'all should be, we would, the earth should be able to flourish, man. But it's not because the wicked are in, in, in authority, all right? It says, and the strong men shall bow themselves, <laughs> all right? So all of these men that y'all think are so-called high value, get, get ready for that to not be the case, basically, all right? And the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and the daughters of music shall be brought low. So the Lord is killing all mirth. You can read Isaiah uh, 24. To get uh, 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 even more insight before the missiles at this place, man. Okay, <laughs> so so everything is hollow. It's dead, and it's gonna get worse, man. You know, it's not gonna get better. All right, you may have a spike of of of, uh, of fake mirth, but it, but it's just an illusion. And ultimately, the plagues are still on their way. All right, and you know, it started with 2020. Okay, and it's gonna it's gonna pop off even more so, man. It's gonna touch every single one of you so-called Americans here, man. All right? I'll end it there, man. Lord willingness is edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rechach Shalom.